वेलकम टू ए स्पेशल लेक्चर टुडे द टुडे टॉपिक इज प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पनीर व्हाई इट इज स्पेशल इज दिस लेक्चर इज गोइंग टू बी द नंबर हंड्रेड वीडियो इन दिस चैनल दिस इज ए ग्रेट सैटिस्फेक्शन फॉर मी एग्जैक्टली अबाउट टू इयर्स बैक आई स्टार्टेड दिस आइडिया ऑफ delivering my lectures through this youtube channel when i found that online classes were quite difficult to hold the attention of the students so i wish to thank students all over india who has got lot of interest and benefit and i have been getting lot of questions and request so let us start today's lecture the topic is preparation of paneer paneer is a solid product prepared from milk and it has got lot of use in culinary dishes we will discuss here about what is paneer what is the details procedure what are the requirements and how the quality paneer can be produced about the yield and little bit about its utility or use of paneer so this is going to be a small lecture and this will be practically demonstrated in your class thank you so let us go to more details of it as i mentioned paneer is primarily an acid and heat coagulated milk product that means the milk will be at high temperature and acid is added and that leads to coagulation of milk and the whole solid gets separated and that is done by filtration so paneer is actually a rich source of protein fat vitamins and minerals and nowadays there is a huge scope for entrepreneurship for making paneer and it is becoming very popular for making different kind of dishes from this paneer like mutter paneer paneer butter masala palak paneer even barbecued paneer or different kind of snacks etc so here we will see first the materials required for making paneer first is the milk then coagulant that is 2% citric acid solution preferably it should be better if we do it with a warm water sometime it can be done with lemon juice or the old way then we need some steel vessels it is for small scale in the home steel vessels heating source thermometer straining cloth or muslin cloth and chilled water and some pressing arrangement like we should have some board or near the sink or wash basin over which we can keep the pressure that is for small scale whereas for the industry it is done in a big steel rectangular vessel where the heating is done and then the coagulation is also done and finally the draining is done through the bottom outlet so sometime the old way also can be used for this coagulation purpose now here we will see the flow chart for paneer preparation first is milk it may have around 4% fat and 8.5% snf that is the standardized milk then it has to undergo filtration to remove any dirts and floating substances then it undergoes heating around 90 degree celsius for 5 to 10 minutes that is for pasteurization for safety and for killing all pathogens and most of the other organisms after that it is slightly cooled to around 75 to 80 degree celsius that is the ideal temperature for coagulation which we are going to see next now for coagulation normally industrially citric acid solution is used but in home we can use the lemon juice or sometime we can use the old already remaining whey that can be used for coagulation purpose so after coagulation we can see the lump of white mass solid mass that can be collected through filtration in muslin cloth after that the solid mass is kept in rectangular perforated steel say steel structures and that is the hooping and then they are further little bit kept under pressure under screw device that will remove further some of the 
wave. So the amount of pressure required like for 4 to 5 kg paneer about 20 to 25 kg pressure. If it is 5 to 10 kg paneer about 25 to 30 kg pressure is required. Now if we are preparing the paneer in home, we can simply hold it in the muslin cloth and we can put some pressure with a vessel having the way the same amount of way is suitable to give the optimum pressure after that this pressure the whole solid mass is kept for cooling at around 4 degree celsius for one hour and later we can leave it in the refrigerator so with this time it becomes a solid mass that can be cut into pieces and then we can do the packaging and marketing so this is the simple flow chart for preparation of paneer in case of home, it is done in a small scale up to 5-10 liters, whereas in the industry, it is done in big vessels, which we have seen in the previous slide, where a big tanker-like vessels will be there, where the milk will be heated and then coagulation is done and the major part of way is drained. After that, it is collected through the cloth. Here, once again, we will discuss little more details about the procedure. First is the filtration of milk through cloth to remove the extraneous materials or dirt etc. Second, the milk should be heated with a gas flame in small scale whereas in case of large scale industry it is heated in a large stainless steel rectangular uh, vessel and inside this vessel itself there will be heating arrangement. So heating is done up to 90 degrees Celsius and it is left for 5 to 10 minutes. After that slowly it should be cooled to 75 to 80 degrees Celsius that is the suitable temperature for coagulation and as coagulant I have mentioned 2% citric acid solution preferably it should be prepared in warm water that will give a better result and while adding the coagulant we should mix it gently but thoroughly then only there will be formation of coagulum and large mass will be formed. Now after the coagulation there will be appearance of greenish yellow whey and the coagulum can be strained or filtered using the muslin cloth that is for small scale whereas if it is a large scale the large rectangular steel container will be there in which from the bottom much of the whey can be drained. So in case of small scale after we collect the coagulum in cloth we can put it for some time in chilled water. Then next, this coagulum should be pressed for about 30 minutes with a suitable weight. The thumb rule is the weight of the, uh, of the vessel should be as good as the amount of milk taken. So the whey itself can be used for pressing with the same vessel for keeping over the lump. So that is optimum for pressure and we can leave it for around 30 minutes that will help to remove the some more whey and also it will help in binding the coagulated particles together to form a uniform cheese mass with desirable fine texture. Then finally remove the semi hard pressed cheese from the cloth and keep it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes for proper setting. So here first is the straining and then pressing and then keeping in the refrigerator. Of course initially we need to put in chilled water for quick cooling. Here it is just to show the importance of filtration because the cows are always having with a lot of paddy straw and other dust, dung etc. So there is always possibility of particles or darts in the milk. So to remove that we must pass it through filtration. So that is very very important. Here in the photograph different stages of preparation is shown. We can see that first milk is heated then coagulum is added and the finally the large white lump of solid mass is visible in the picture. So this is very interesting for making paneer to find the white coagulum of solid mass. Here we will discuss little more details about the requirement of coagulant or citric acid. So normally the thumb rule is 
in one liter of milk we need around two gram of citric acid and it should be prepared as two percent solution that means 100 ml of water two gram of citric acid that is for one liter now suppose we need 40 liter of milk to make paneer then we need 40 into 2 80 gram of citric acid now from this 80 gram citric acid if we have to make two percent solution then for 2 gram it is 100 ml for 80 gram we need 4000 ml or 4 liter so for 1 liter we need 200 ml 100 ml for 10 liter we need 1 liter of solution and for 40 liter we need 4 liter of solution and preferably this solution if we make warm around 60 70 degree celsius temperature then it is more effective now we will discuss about the yield of paneer and that depends on fat and SNF content that is 4% fat and 8.5% SNF is ideal then it depends on the quality of milk it should be preferably the raw milk the pasteurized milk is not suitable for good quality paneer or the yield if it is already pasteurized the milk proteins are already partially heat treated so it don't respond well for coagulation whereas the raw milk when we add the high temperature and acidity the coagulation is very efficient so the yield of paneer will be more and the lump and the size of the lump will be very big then heat treatment around 90 degrees celsius 5 to 10 minutes is required and the coagulation temperature generally recommended 75 to 80 degrees celsius and it is also good if we use the warm water for coagulation that is the solution of citric acid also should be around 70-75 degrees celsius and then finally the pressing so we are pressing to remove the whey or the moisture if the pressing is too much then the whey will be removed too much in that case the yield will be reduced so maximum 60% water should be left then only we can get good yield and soft texture of the paneer so in case of cow milk the expected yield is 13 to 15 percent and in case of buffalo milk it is about 16 to 18 percent now once again we will see how to make good quality paneer so first thing is use of good quality milk the milk should not be already acidified or sour or old then it won't behave properly then it should be raw and maintain the temperature precisely at optimum level amount of coagulum should be calculated and used properly with the optimum level and the solution also should be of the same temperature otherwise when the solution is at a low temperature when we mix it reduces the effective temperature and the hygiene and quality control also very very important so proper pasteurization is important so that no pathogen can survive now we will briefly discuss about the quality or judging the quality or the sensory quality of paneer firstly it is the body the body of the paneer should be rubbery firm loose and compact the second is the texture it should be free from internal cracks or holes and it should be close compact and smooth the appearance it should be white and smooth and the taste it should be salty or slightly sour and the flavor it should be mild acidic or acidic so these are some of the very basic judging quality for paneer here we will briefly talk about the use of paneer this i have mentioned at the beginning so nowadays it has become very important for culinary dishes especially for the vegetarians there are many dishes like palak paneer and the green color you can see then paneer butter masala and then we can see mutter paneer so these are the dishes used for making uh, eating with chapati or rice there are large number of videos in youtube available for their preparation nowadays it is becoming popular for barbecue or paneer tikka so this is becoming like a snacks or other kind of paneer pakoda paneer bhaji these kind of snacks are also becoming very popular so preparation of all this is available in youtube video how to do that 
सो हियर वी आर एट द एंड दिस इज ए शॉर्ट लेक्चर ऑन प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पनीर व्हिच वी आर गोइंग टू शो यू इन द प्रैक्टिकल क्लास सो पनीर इज प्रिपेयर्ड बाय कोएगुलेशन ऑफ मिल्क एट ए हाई टेंपरेचर एंड विद एसिड सो इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एसिड एंड हीट कोएगुलेटेड मिल्क प्रोडक्ट्स सो वी गेट द सॉलिड पीसेस व्हिच आर यूज्ड फॉर कुलिनरी पर्पसेस so briefly we have discussed about the heating procedure temperature the coagulant the how much coagulant is required what are the different steps it has to be after coagulation we have to filter it collect in a cloth then we have to chill it then press it and then we can cut into pieces and package and market in we can store it at chilling temperature for 3 to 5 days we can keep it at 5 degree celsius in addition further i want to mention that this is a very significant lecture today this is the 100th lecture in this channel i am so happy that this has been liked by many people i have been getting many questions and queries and i have to do another about 10 lectures related to lpt i mean the dairy related with that i can finish the entire syllabus for undergraduates in livestock products technology for the veterinary students but i will continue for many other videos for the post graduate students and many other special topic however nowadays i am finding that there is more interest from the entrepreneurs so all this lecture which we are doing it is based on the curriculum based on the syllabus it is exclusively for academic purpose and keeping in mind about the examination or for any other competitive exam but for the entrepreneurs the approach need to be different so maybe slowly later on i am going to make such videos which will suits to the requirement of the entrepreneurs so i wish to thank all my viewers all students and others who has supported and i request that you must share and uh, forward these videos to others so that i can find some more pleasure of doing it thank you